What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to round off up on last time, uh, we've been fighting across North America and it would appear that the uh, current state of affairs regarding the ownership of the 13 colonies does not kick in if I've got my uh, if I've got my campaign set to custom in the Darth Mod launcher. So we might have to go about this the old fashioned way and turn on them. But our first option will be, our first port of call will be to capture Boston and to pretty much peck away at the night at 13 colonies territories as they lose it. So we're going to wait. We're going to wait before assaulting St. Augustine just because I don't want to uh, spend any money on replenishing my troops. These forces here in New Orleans are likely to re reinforce and then head west to Santa Fe to knock out uh, New Mexico because we are at war with New Spain. This force up near Chicasa may end up uh, starting to attack territories in the Caribbean, but I would like these, this army to march north to be the core of a new army to land and hit the uh, hit the French. But that does mean we need to be ready in Europe to do something about it. Uh, how goes our trade? Generally, it goes pretty good. Uh, Mughal Empire. Okay. Tech. Okay, let me give him a socket bayonet. Because I want to try and prolong the split of India for as long as possible. Um, and I also need to start spending more money here in Europe to, cr to uh, create forces to push out and start actually... Uh, attack the Russians. So this army will become the new garrison of Vilnius and this force here will become my new offensive army to go hit either R Riga or maybe even Minsk. But then again Minsk opens me up to a lot of border problems with the the uh, the Russians. But let's hit end turn because right now I have no income. Yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit unfortunate about the 13 colonies not becoming part of our empire, but it's not... Ooh. Uh-oh. Phew. It's not the end of the world, because we're Britain. Britain's still a very powerful economic nation, so there's still... I don't really have any concerns about our... about our economy from that fact alone. Especially as we can take Boston, then eventually the, uh, the United States... Ooh, they want to create an alliance. I mean, they're allied with Prussia, which we are. They're enemies with Spain, Dagestan, Poland, and the pirates. I mean, I'm going to do it. They're not going to cause into war against Spain. Actually, we're at war with Spain anyway. Uh, yes, that makes sense. That makes sense, creating an alliance with the Ottomans. It also gives us a bigger... Coalition of Forces against Russia. They're getting ready to march onto Vilnius once more. No, the new Spaniard is going to start to pick away at our trade empire. Understandable. This is kind of why I don't like to focus on the trade empires. I, on the, in the trade nodes, I'd rather focus on... I'd rather focus on building my economy within my territory as it's much easier to manage. So I doubt the Mughals will, will be able to hold indefinitely. They could probably do with money, but sorry Mughals, I need money too. At least I'm not at war with the Barbary states. But let's keep expanding in Europe. At some point, Prussia will turn on us. So that's kind of why I need to expand and build my empire in the Americas. So you have explosive shells. You've gone on to research wedge formation. Instead, go on to... Maybe naval architecture advances to keep growing my 
Navy. We're upgrading one of our educational buildings. First of all, you've done a chunk of replenishment. Now do some more. Or is now the time where we go on the offensive? Probably is, actually. Let's take the guns over to Vilnius. Vilnius, pick up some infantry. Ready to hop in to help protect the city. But first of all, I want to do a bit more... A bit more stuff on the wider map before I commit to that action. So we've got Savannah. Cotton or tobacco? Cotton's the cash crop at the moment, so let's get some cotton on the go. Upgrade cotton there, upgrade cotton there. Let's build a magistrate. Let's repair the magistrate here. I do need to start to build church schools when I can. Because I, I'm not able to fend off the to fend off the Catholicism of New Spain yet. But, let's take... Ah, oh, can you not march? Because I've given you guns, I can't march out. Alright, let's give them one more turn of replenishment. They might not... They might run around us. Oh, they might run around us, that's the problem. So if I take you all less these two guns... One of these guns I can take. March you out of the city. Get these men into the city. And then let's take you, Ashley Croft, and engage Yulian Pletrev. Because their army is pretty depleted as it is. And let's push on to. Push on to Riga, I think, to add a bit of. Push on to Riga, then St. Petersburg. I think that's the move. I could go straight for St. Petersburg because it has no garrison, but it would all that would do is create territory I need to more heavily garrison. But then I'm going to need to garrison Riga anyway, in the event of Corland betraying me. Right. Drop some guns here, they can lob shells at range. My strongest units, although they're all fairly good. They can all... Hmm. Okay, let's take these guys and deploy them this side of the rock and then you guys can deploy the far side of the rock so we've got first regiment oh, both the Welsh Grenadiers are on the left they're both a bit weak keep this infantry unit back because they're a bit they're a bit weak let's put the clansmen in following the front line put both our cavalry on the right flank general in the center Let us advance. So you guys halt fire all off. I might have to throw you guys into the mix here. Throw my clansmen, push my clansmen up on the right, make sure my left flank is actually going to be... It's actually going to be on the offensive, so you guys should be... My concern is my dragoons won't be able to win against the regiment of horse itself, so I need to push my infantry up to tip the balance of power here against this cavalry I need my infantry to get up there to start fire by rank okay let's deploy my infantry like so my regiment of horse go fight that regiment of horse but let's chiefly get ready to fight the militia 
This flank is very important. Let's turn, turn the enemy's flank. Turn the clansmen's fire it will off. Keep some clansmen up here ready as a hedge against the militia. Try and shatter the horse cavalrymen, but let's get them out. There we go. So let's begin pivoting of my men. So we're gunning down the Russians. They've got a couple of units that have a bit more strength. Okay, let's commit. Let's commit my cavalry to start to try and chase down some of these enemy units. Definitely try to get my general's bodyguard in. Push up the infantry. Oh no, not pikemen. And you can try and mow down those militia. These guys try and mow down some of their militia. Keep chasing down the militia there. You guys engage the line infantry over here. you guys are back over here onto the right flank. My general did catch up with the militia. Let's get you over here to start to knock out some of this line infantry. There we go. You men charge down the pikes. They're falling thick and fast. Charge straight on into the next unit. You guys continue to attack there. You guys chase down the militia. Regiment of horse. Also chase down the militia. She maybe chase down the line infantry. Let's run you up to give these guys a new enemy. Because it looks like without help they will only focus on my cavalry that's running around the rear of the map. There we go. The 32, the 32nd Regiment didn't have much of a choice but to turn around. I don't know if you'll be able to kill this entire unit before they rout. But you're going to have a good go. Thirty second, they're upset. You're not going to kill the twenty fifth regiment because they are going to escape. There's plenty of good alternatives. Yeah, you're slowly getting your way through them. 
At least you're going to At least you guys are going to hack down some of the units of the 29th. You guys charge the 32nd. You guys pivot, turn the flank of the 19th. You get the 32nd, you guys get... You better go for that Cossacks. Those Cossacks, actually. Hey, these guys have fire by rank. Which only one gun is engaging them. There we go. And you have hit the Cossacks. The, this regiment here is split in half, so at least if we go for the Cossacks, they aren't quite as split apart. We're going to continue. So let's stop the artillery, and let's triple speed it. Hey, you might actually kill that entire unit of line. Nice work. General. Right, and then you're all going after the 32nd. My general's after the, the 19th, they're going to rout all my cavalry after the 32nd. They should be able to kill that unit altogether with that many cavalry, and there's only six men left. Decisive victory, damn right. So that's gutted Yulian Pletrev's army, sent them pack in north of the river. You men push up just out of range of that army. So you guys get another round of replenishment going. Your artillery can trundle up behind you. That is a bit vulnerable actually to a raid from those provincial cavalry. We got some infantry being recruited. So we've got we've won won against the Russians, we're doing a bit more economy investing over here. I just hope those United Provinces don't go ahead and capture uh, Boston before I can get my men over there. Ooh, France has declared on me. Okay, is this Roy calling my allies? I think it probably is. Who's not going to join me? The Ottomans. Everyone else has joined them. France has not been joined by anyone. Or maybe I was already at war with them. So where are they going to attack us? Ooh. We're being sallied from St. Augustine. Yeah, let's fight that. <laughs> I think this is the last turn. Then we can capture the city. Well, then, then the city is ours. So doing it this way does mean we spend less money on troop replenishment. We can capture the city and then march this army north. Probably want to start recruiting some men in Quebec because we might get we might see a French army heading our way. These men hunker down, behind cover. Oh, there we go. This is going to be quick. Garrison militia. Fire lock arm citizenry and general's bodyguard. So who's come to meet them? The, sec the, uh, the second foot guards, marines. Okay, I might pivot these guys out. Yeah, they're aiming at the garrison militia. The 14th Regiment. Oh no, they're going to take a long time because this guy's still trying to hop over the wall. <coughs> Come on, you lads. Stop, 
So the Scottish Line Infantry are a unit from, I'm pretty sure it's the additional units mod. It's not in the base game. I think it looks pretty dope. But yeah, I think we all now know how this is going to go. So let's just knock it up one more speed. Because, uh, yeah, there's a... Most of the general's actually been hit by some misses. Like, you fire, and then if they fire high, they'll land and hit the general's bodyguard. She's triple speed it. Because right now it's just going to be... Actually, I might be... Push these guys up like this. Close range. No cover in the way. To distort. Yeah, well the Scottish fire ranks already turned the eighth. So means these guys are gonna hit the fire lock arm system. Dying. The Marines have taken a bit of a hammering. Uh, let's speed up time. This is going to be over fairly rapidly now. Let's also make sure I've got my native warriors involved. Yep. General's gone. Yep, there we go. Good stuff. So I'm pretty sure that does mean that Florida is ours. Oh, well, I thought it did. One option is to move the Florida garrison up to Cherokee Territory and then use them as the garrison to help stabilize the region while I send men. Don't attack me, Prussia. Please. <laughs> See? Yes, we'll be ally. Ooh, we'll ally again, even though you failed to support me. They're marching into Polish territory. Thirteen colonies are going to see off the French. I expect they're after my territory in the north. That's why they declared on me. But it didn't work. Right. I think I need to spend some money to uh, just fill out my garrisons at Kodingsburg and in Vilnius a bit. The presence of the Prussians in my land is making me uneasy. It's never normally a good thing when the AI does that. The Barbary states are just shoving around the Prussians. At least the Spanish are at war with the French. Actually, have the Spanish taken Paris? For a second, the map looked a bit funny. Alliance broken. Yeah, but we're allies again now. Yes, they did. <laughs> Spain took Paris. <laughs> Suck it, France. Not for long, though. Like, likely not for long. Yeah, Florida's ours. Let's rebuild the magistrate. Let's repair Governor's Building at Louisiana. Oh, I spent a lot of money replenishing this army. Oh. Let's hop back over to Europe and go 
I mean, if you attack, I'll definitely fight you off. Let's get one line infantry unit <laughs> to join them there. Push my guns up to my main force. They can take whatever money I can, whatever money I have spare, while we march on. St. Petersburg is very fascinating because it's currently open. But Riga and then St. Petersburg would be a better overall position. So let's go hit Riga. You have to be careful of Courland. Hostile, they're a protector of... I could, I could just declare on them. I think I will in due course, but I'm, I've got an awful suspicion that they are going to attack me. In which case then, let's stop the recruiting of the line infantry there. And actually get a... Well, if I'm going to recruit one unit, I may as well go all out and get a grenadier unit. But if they attack me, by God. I would like to try and make peace with the Russians while I turn on the... While I turn on the... Uh, the po the uh, Poles. Not the Poles. The Prussians. So over here, can you guys leave Florida, like, immediately? You can. They're only going to minus one, so let's run you guys up to Boston. We've got two units of infantry here, which I can probably send south. Up camp. If you want to get Boston secured quickly, you guys likely can't leave New Orleans. No, they're way too unhappy for that. Yes, my lord. Let's get my spy over to New Mexico, actually. Let's also make sure my taxes are low to spur growth of all of these towns because these some of these regions that have quite a lot of towns. Looks like that French agents died up here. So let's ship you over here to start converting Montreal to the glory of Protestantism. Everyone else is just defending yourselves. I might even. Major nation Spain. Ah, nuts. Alright then, well let's see if the Prussians are going to betray me. I don't like where that French navy is sailing, but well, not a lot I can do about it. Especially as the sweet the Spanish are now pushing through. Ooh, where are the Dutch going? Have they landed to hit Berlin? I suspect Spain. Well, Spain is a Catholic is a Catholic faction, so they may actually be able to hold on to uh, to France. I know it looks like the Dutch didn't disembark their troops. The Prussians are, have moved their stack, which is good. Poles are on the move again. I want to take Riga. To be honest, I may as well attack Courland as well after I take Riga. Oh, don't don't blockade my ports, Russia. That's lame. That's hella lame. They sense weakness, but Vilnius is not weak. Vilnius is strong. The Spanish are sending missionaries to try and interfere with our work on the continent. Mughals are making absolute hash of trying to protect their own land. But we can do nothing but continue to uh, continue to develop our economy. Someone needs to take out the Barbary States. Their turns take far too long, considering how inconsequential they are.
Hey, they actually blockaded me this time. Ooh, bankrupt. So we need to go knock out this Russian fleet, although it's pretty pretty poor quality, and that's why I have a home fleet. I'm just going to auto that, because a bunch of fourth rates against nothing. Port blockaded, port blockaded, port blockaded, bankrupt. Not anymore, although I don't, I'm definitely lost money. I've definitely lost income. So you guys run, keep running. Send these guys in just to look at what they've got. More orders. Only two units. Ooh. Hmm. Maintain siege. <laughs> two units be two units. I don't think they've got fire. I don't. Well, I don't know if they got fire by rank. Tech. Ah, oh, they might have it. Because I can't offer it to them. If they didn't have it, I'd go straight in. Let's deplete them. While it bring, while I try and run these guys up. Grenadiers in Lithuania. That's all of them off. So if you guys want to try anything, Lithuania is still more than protected. Ashley Croft march up. And probably going to fight. Actually, I oh, know it's a fort. Maintain siege. Let's get them. Let, let them attrit somewhat while the rest of my men pick up uh, pick up reinforcements. Workers on strike in Florida, but now they're okay. Right, let's head in turn. Ooh, right. I'm gonna actually fight this. So, but looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for this pretty important but low <laughs> low intensity battle. Cheers, everyone.